Hey guys, Crewman here. And the last two weeks has been quite a wild ride in GPU mining. We've had four different hard forks. Three worked, one didn't. I'm looking at you, Pyram. We've had the introduction of core algorithms back into GPU mining, thanks to Pyram. We've had an algorithm that was not previously GPU mineable, but became GPU mineable when it jumped back onto Autolycos in the form of Block X. A lot of things going on. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to triple mine Block X, Hiram, and Zill. You know, our favorite coin that everybody needs to triple mine. I'm going back to Zill, guys. We all need to mine Zill. You guys haven't heard me yell at you for a while, so it's time. Time to mine Zill. Now, this guide is going to assume a few things. One, it's going to assume that you know how to generate a wallet for Block X and for Pyram and that you know the very basics of Hive OS. And I'll also be going over overclock settings for the 40 series and for the 3070, 3060 Ti, and medium range 30 series cards as well. And you can also apply those settings to the 3080 and the 3090, and they should work just fine. So without further ado, let's get to it. So this video is sponsored by me, my channel, Croupman Tech and Mining. Please consider being a member of the channel, you get exclusive emoji. And if I get enough members, I'll definitely start doing a members only live stream. But more importantly, you help out the channel. Running a YouTube channel isn't cheap. And I try to get sponsors and I try to get ads, but it's a very, very fine line between having too much sponsored content and not enough to make any money. So if you guys would, wouldn't would mind at least liking and subbing to the channel helps a lot, along with buying from any of my affiliate links, they all help as all the money I get goes right back into this channel so that I can give you better GPU mining, CPU mining, gaming, all sorts of content. And it also helps fund my trips to conventions. I will be going to CES 2025 this year. The fundraising has started already. So anything I make off this channel will go towards paying for that trip as well. So thank you again for watching this video and please consider liking, subscribing, becoming a member or using any of my affiliate links to support the channel. All right, so another thing I want to talk about in this guide is I will be using the latest Rigel Miner, so make sure your Hive OS is up to date as it has the latest Rigel Miner in it. You want to make sure that as of not, uh, September 14th, 2024, you have the most up-to-date Hive and you will be covered. So this is what Flight Sheet will look like. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select the coins. Now we will be triple mining, but you will only be able to select two coins in the boxes and we'll go over that later the first coin you want to select is block x as that's your your memory coin and then the second one you want to select is pyram next you'll want to make a wallet for each of them in the in hive os next you're going to want to select your pools now i prefer to use configure miner for both of them as pools have been changing quite a bit uh, in this video we'll use block x dot zone which it's an okay pool but there's there's really no better one and then we'll use Hero Miners for Pyram, and we'll use K1 for Zill. Now, K1 and Hero Miners are both my preferred pools, and they both do have sponsorships with the channel. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to select Rigel Miner on the Miner, and then we'll go to Extra Configs right now. So this is what mine looks like when it's finished. But like I said, I'm going to guide you step by step, and we're going to get it set up and you, so you understand not only how to set this up, but what you understand what each value means, because it's much better just to teach you how to do it instead of just showing you how to copy it. So if you notice, there's two coins. You want to make sure the first coin is selected. You want to select Auto Lycos 2 because that's the that's the algorithm. And then you want to make sure for pool, you set in the you set up the pool you're using. Now I'm using the block zone pool, and I'll put a link down below for that if you just want to copy and paste that. All right, then you want to make sure you select the second coin and you want to make sure of a few things. The first thing is you want the algorithm to be Pyram hash version two, because if it's version one, it's not going to work. And then for your pool URL, you're going to want to take the hero miners pool and it's right there. And I'll have a link to hero miners down below as well. Now that we've got that set up, now I want to go over the extra config arguments. The first thing you need to know is for triple mining, for the algorithm on Rigo miner, it needs to be auto Lycos two plus Pyram hash V2 plus Zill. Now, the one thing that you also need to do that's an easy thing to forget because you don't ever really have to do this with any other algorithm is you have to put the dash dash coin command and block X. And essentially what that is, is you're telling it to use the ergo algorithm to mine block X and not ergo. This is important because if you don't do this, then you won't connect to the pool and the miner won't work. After that, we have to set up our Zill pool and our Zill address. 
and you're gonna to wanna to do that in the extra config just like I have it selected there. And you wanna make sure you put the brackets three to denote that that is the third coin that you are mining. Now that's the address for K1 pool, which is my preferred Zill pool. And then you enter for dash U, you put your Zill address right there and that will get you mining Zill. So finally, let's show you the overclocks and explain to you how I got them. So we're gonna do the overclocks for Block X and Pyram first. Now you'll notice there's a brackets for one and then there's brackets for three and nothing for two. And that is because what one is, one is telling the, telling the GPU how to program the memory and the core to properly mine both Block X, which is a memory algorithm, and Pyram, which is a core algorithm. And those are the numbers we have there. Those generally work for everything in the 30 series. You can adjust it as you see fit. Remember with uh, anything involving overclocking, my numbers may vary and differ from yours. And silicon lottery is a thing. I know over the course of my farm, I get different I get different results on some GPUs using the same settings. But those settings will cover 30 series for Block X and for Pyram. Now these next overclocks involve Zill. Zill owes basically an ETH algorithm, so you kind of you have to overclock it differently. And the important thing to note is you have to set these in the that in the brackets for the number three because then the gpu will know that it needs to adjust the overclocks when the zill window hits it's important to do that and finally if you're mining on the 30 series you'll want to use dual mode and it's just basically the command is dual mode a12 r whatever the value you want and that's essentially tuning how much you want for either pyram or for block x now i found that this is pretty much the best you're going to get as the goal when you're triple mining, you wanna get about 75% of the total Pyram hash and about 75% of the total Block X that you would be getting if you were just mining one of those coins. And I feel like R28 lets you do that. Now with the 40 series, you don't need to enter this in as the 40 series will auto tune itself much better than the 30 series does. So when you're mining on the 40 series, you don't need an R value and I will put 40 series overclocks for dual mining this down below in the description. Your rig should look something like this when you're mining. The top hash rate is block X and the bottom one is Pyram. And you, as you see, we're getting about 75% of each algorithm versus if we were just mining them alone. So overall, I think this is a good triple mining combination that is very new, basically like 48 hours new. And I think it's very underlooked. And for me, I think it's going to be my triple mining combination of choice moving forward. Now, obviously, that depends on how the price goes. But like I said, I think this is one that people are sleeping on and that people should really check out. So I hope this guide helped. And if it did, please consider liking and subbing and also becoming a member. Thank you again for watching. Crootman is out.